This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I have a little bit of a story to tell you guys before we get into today's video because uh, this is how I got to the video idea today. If you ever wondering like, hey, Jenna, how do you come up with your video ideas? You, there's so many. I don't think anybody's asked me this before, but I'm just gonna tell you anyway. I got sick two days ago on my birthday. Pretty crappy birthday, not not gonna lie, wasn't great because I couldn't see anyone because I was sick. And um, I was trying to fight it out and just be like, yeah, I, I don't need to go see the doctor, I am good, it will pass. Um, it didn't, it only got worse. So, you know, the night of my birthday, I went to the hospital because um, it, it was just really bad. It was really bad, I had like, elevated heart rate, body aches, I had, um, I don't know, fever, I had, you know, a strep throat of it, like, you know, I found out. And then I found out I had the flu, so they had to give me all these antibiotics, I was on IV. But then after that, you know, a lot better. So yesterday, a lot better. Today, great. I am pretty much back to normal because of those dang medications, so thank you for whoever invented those. I thought maybe I probably should still keep it chill, so I decided we should just sit on the couch and crochet something. Great idea, right? Well, I thought maybe we could do something smaller, like we can crochet a bag, something easier. So I got all my yarn out and I started playing around and I ended up making this swatch, see? And I loved it. I was like, this is it, this is revolutionary and I need something with this, this in my life. And I thought, you know, this would be a great bag, but you know it'd be better? A sweater vest. Hi, Vincent. Hi, Jack. The first step, I'm, just gonna untangle this because I don't wanna waste this yarn. And then for my yarn, I am using one green and two of these white creamy ones for the sweater vest. I actually kinda wanna use this sweater vest as my pattern, so next step, I am just going to chain the length of the width of my sweater vest, or approximately the width of it. So this definitely isn't like a foolproof method to figure out how, you know, many stitches you need to cast on, um, chain on, most of the time it works for me. So I want this sweater vest not to take me like 48 years to make, so we're gonna double crochet it. Forgot how fast this goes when you're actually using like a decent sized crochet hook because I'm used to like crocheting one of these strands like for a whole sweater and it takes like you know like 48 days but this probably took me like 20 minutes maybe I'm also thinking as I'm working this up like I don't really have a plan of like you know exactly what it's gonna look like I'm gonna make it kind of similar to this but I think I want to do it a now do I want to do it cropped I can start decreasing them. Hi, Benson. I know a lot of you guys have asked, like, where's Benson? We don't see Benson in the video. He's always here. It's not like he lives somewhere else. He lives here. He just tends to sleep a lot. He's, he's an older man. He's a senior, okay? He likes to chill. He doesn't move as much as Jack. Like, every time I move, Jack moves. But this guy, he likes the couch. So I tried putting two stitches together and decreasing that way, um, but then it bunched up. I already started taking it apart because I'm gonna redo it. So I think for the next try, I'm just gonna slip stitch it for my decrease. So my decreases, it actually looks pretty dang good. Like this is actually quite swoopish, you know? Like it's not very jaggedy, which I've never been, you know, a pro at decreasing and making like nice beautiful lines with crochet. Usually I just try to hide that, but because it's the vest, it's gonna be kind of noticeable, but like, that's pretty good. Sup? Okay, so yesterday I got this much done, which I'm starting to realize this might be a little bit fitted this this top so I know crochet stretches out a bit so that's what I'm gonna bank on because like when I put this on me you know it kind of fits more like a fitted tank top rather than a sweater rest and it might be a little short it's a little short and a little fitted Wow I really feel like a beauty guru when it zoomed in like this like imagine if I did all my videos like this Anyways, 
I got like five hours of sleep last night and honestly, I don't feel that bad. Like I thought I'd be more tired. I still woke up at 6 a.m. for some reason. Do we like it? Do we like the texture? Do we like the cream and the green? That rhymes. I really like it so far. I just hope, you know, it looks good in the end. Sometimes, you know, halfway through the process, it like looks stellar. And then by the end, it looks like a trash bag. I have, uh, it was weird, I had a burp and uh, yawn at the same time. Anyways, this is my update. I have this much done. Yeah, that's my update. You finally got out of bed. <laughs> it's one o'clock and he just got out of bed. As for my sweater, I have the bottom base now, so now I'm gonna start decreasing on the arms, and I'm gonna do it the exact same as the front. Are you seriously going back to bed again? You just went back to bed. It's not healthy to sleep in bed all day. So, I'm slightly annoyed because, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's probably hard to tell on screen, but my yarns, they are the, okay, the green, the green yarn specifically, I had four balls of them and ordered them at the same time and they're all supposed to be the same color, but they're not. They're two different colors because they sent me the same color from two different batches. So one is slightly more emerald and the other one more like a green apple. Can you see? Not that big of a deal because I ended up changing it on the back. So the front piece is all one color, but the back piece, it's two different greens. I don't think anyone will ever notice, but. You know, when you notice things and then it's just like, Argh! So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you guys have not heard of Squarespace before, they are this amazing website where you guys can go and create your own professional looking website. I have been using Squarespace ever since college and my website right now was made on Squarespace. Some of my favorite features about Squarespace is one, you can have an online store with physical products and digital products. Two, if you have an online store, you can also offer local pickup to all of your local customers just at checkout. And lastly, if you're an artist designer like myself, but you don't have any products you wanna sell, you can also use their online gallery feature to showcase your artwork. And if you have some clients you wanted to share their work to, you can also add a password. Head to squarespace.com slash to start your free trial. And then after your free trial, be sure to use my coupon code Jenna Phipps at checkout, and you guys will get 10% off your website or domain. Okay, I'm getting very close to being done the two pieces and then we can work on all the like the tricky things, the unknown things that I don't really know yet. But for the back, I am not doing the same as the front. I'm doing a very high neck. So I think I'll just like start, you know, doing two little shoulders here. One, two, what did I do there? I just pinned it so I could try it on. I'm hoping I can put it on without stabbing myself and hopefully it fits. <laughs> so nervous. Well, I'm gonna say right off the bat, it does not feel skin tight, good. Okay, I'm just gonna say three words. I love it. Okay, now for the tough decisions because now I have to figure out how I'm gonna finish it. Right now, I just have two pieces. Obviously, I gotta put them together, but I need to figure out how I'm gonna do all the edging because I'm thinking I might wanna get out my knitting needles and knit collar. Found it. We're going with pink. Okay, next thing to decide now that I have a color. Do I want to knit a collar? just kind of went for it with the sleeve here. I didn't really know what I was gonna do with the sleeve, so I was joining the sides together, and then I did this. 
I think I like it, but I'm also very on the fence. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I like it, but then I tried it on, and I'll show you guys. This is how it looks, which it looks pretty good, but I'm just worried here. I guess it's a vest. It doesn't really matter. Maybe, maybe I should try it on with, like, something I would realistically wear underneath. I feel like I should make an egg sandwich and then decide. Fire like usual. I've been staring at my vest for like 45 minutes now with both the dogs on my lap. Here's Jack. And I just feel like I need to sleep on it. It's something where I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go the way I had it. I'm not gonna change it up and I'm just gonna do a single crochet all the way around to do the edges and maybe do a knitted collar, maybe not. Maybe I'll just do a single crochet there. But I just feel like I need to sleep on it and then look at it with fresh eyes to know, you know, like 100% if I like it. So I thought, you know, if I slept on it, I'd wake up and I would know exactly what I wanted to do with this tank or sweater vest, whatever I'm making, and I really don't. I don't know if I want to go for just like a simple crochet around here, finish it off, and it's kind of like a tank top that you can layer, but then also wear as a tank top, or if I want to go traditional sweater vest and do some like knitted ribbing around here, you know, make a little sleeve, do a little collar here. I don't know. I'm going to do a little compromise or... That's not the right word. I'm gonna figure this out by I'm gonna leave this one with single crochet and then the other side, I'm going to start doing a little knitted rib and just see which one I like then and then it'll be decided. So I think after doing one ribbed, one single crochet, I feel like there's a clear winner here, right? Like this side with the single crochet, like I feel like my titty will pop out. My sweater vest. Definitely very happy that I did the ribbing on the side. Like it looks so much more like a sweater vest now and not so much like a tank top, which is what I originally wanted. But now looking at this, I feel like, I don't know if I should do the same thing for the collar here or if I should just do like a single crochet. I definitely think I wanna do the single crochet along the bottom here. So maybe I'll just start with that and then figure out what I'm gonna do for the collar last. While I've been working on this top, I've been watching Next in Fashion, and honestly, very inspirational. But more honestly, it kind of makes you feel like a trash bag when making clothes while watching that, because I'm just gonna be honest, this sweater looks like a moldy old paper bag with compost inside, and the compost that is so old and gross and moldy that it's hard to even get it into your compost bin without throwing up. So that just took me like 30 seconds to do this first round of single crochet around the bottom. So I'm thinking, should I keep going? I think this is perfect. So I'm a little confused. I'm not sure if I should do this or if I should do this here. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Just cleaning the lens for you guys. Well, I am done the sweater vest. I have it on. I have styled it to the best of my ability with what I have in my closet. And I think it's pretty above average. I'm not gonna, usually I say below average, but I honestly think this outfit is above average. Not sure though, because the shirt might be too long underneath, but I'll be the judge of that. You don't have to be the judge of that. But I'll show you how my sweater vest turned out, okay? Ta-da! Sweater vest. What do we think? Don't really know that I want all your guys' opinion unless it's good. But honestly, I blew my socks off with this sweater vest. I think it looks great. I love the colors. Do you see this pop of yellow I added in here? Look at this. Look at this surprise here. Probably weren't expecting that. You probably think I was just gonna put pink up there and call it a day. But no, I was inspired 
by Next in Fashion about being creative and being out there. And look what happened. I'm very impressed with myself. It fits great. Overall, it looks good. It's good colors. It's just. Okay, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed making this little vest with me. If you guys did like it, thank you. If you didn't, no thank you. But um, I'm gonna go now. I think my dogs have to go pee outside, so I'm gonna go do that. So, that's all I have to say. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in another video.